All right, guys, so I'm about to try out Special Stage 7 in Sonic 1 for the very first time. Hopefully, I can beat this. Um, from what I've heard, this Special Stage is actually really hard. So, I'm looking... Oh, my God! Yep, well, I mean, this does live up to the stories. This is pretty hard. And yes, I'm going to be abusing the coins here because I really need the retries here. So something tells me I'm going to be spending a lot of coins on this um, special stage. Just because, oh my god. There, there's pink crystals with goals right underneath them. That is just absurd. This is like Special Stage 6 from the original game, just way harder. Oh man. Oh man. What is this goal placement? Jeez. Um. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. And it's going faster. Oh, I, I am so... Okay, thank you for the coin, but I, oh my god. What happened? Why was I floating in the air for a second there? Oh my god. I'm getting bounced all over the place. Jeez. Okay, just give me the emerald. Give me the emerald. It's right there. It's right there. It's right there. Come on. Come on. It's right there. The emerald is literally right there. I want it. I need it. It's... So close yet so far, because I know if I make one mistake, I'm done for. Oh, no, no, why? Oh, this is the worst possible combination. Oh, jeez, I am so close to those goals. Okay. Yeah, um, in case you couldn't tell, I'm definitely struggling right now. I don't know how I want to go after this emerald, and I'm literally getting closer and closer to both winning and losing it really could go either way here okay stop it oh i got the emerald let's go okay so i just unlocked super sonic in sonic one as trippy as that is so i'm gonna show off uh super sonic in labyrinth zone act two and then i'm gonna call it for this video I mainly wanted to show off that special stage. I mainly wanted to show off my first run of that. Like, just to see if I could do it, you know? And what do you know, it only took me two tries. I thought that special stage was going to be a lot more impossible. But, you know, that, that was actually not that bad. And yes, I have the elemental shields turned on as well as the sonic 2 invincibility sparkles because i felt like being a little bit quirky you know okay maybe i should drown i mean not drown uh maybe i should not drown if i want to go super okay yeah that that would be nice maybe let's not drown you know that's part of the requirement list to go super sonic Because, you know, a dead hedgehog can't be a super one, no can he? That was a pretty dark joke, but, you know, I'm just going to roll with it. And yes, I'm getting as many rings as I can here because, well, one, I kind of want a coin. And two, I want Super Sonic to last as long as possible, so... Yeah! And I had to wait until Labyrinth Zone to get Super Sonic, so it... So I'm over halfway through this game, and I'm just now getting Super Sonic. Compared to Sonic 1, I meant Sonic 2, where I usually just get Super Sonic just in Emerald Hill, you know? Okay, can that still pop? Yep, that... Okay, that makes sense, because, you know spikes pop bubbles but i don't know if that was like sonic i didn't know if it was oh look at that supersonic is green underwater that's cool 
and it's the Sonic 1 invincibility theme. Okay, I mean, at that point you might as well just import the super theme from Sonic 2. You know what, I'm gonna do another level because I really feel like I didn't show off enough of Super Sonic. I turned into him for like 10 seconds. So I'm gonna do Labyrinth Act 3 and then I'm gonna call it. And yes, I know I've been recording a lot today, but it's, it's the 31st anniversary, okay? It's Sonic's birthday. G cut me some slack. Slack? I said that weird. Uh, cut me some slack, okay? Well, if, if anything, you guys would want me to upload more because, you know, you subbed to this channel. At least I would hope you did. I mean, if you didn't, I mean, feel free. It's free, and you can always undo it later if you, you know, decide, hey, this guy is kind of annoying, or hey, this guy's not funny, but, you know. Um, and plus, I have had people subscribe and then unsub. I don't know why that happens to me, but it's just part of YouTube, I guess. Oh yeah, and the last uh, level, that was my first time ever using Super Sonic in this game. And by this game, I mean Sonic 1. I've used Super Sonic in the classic games before. And even Origins, because I already used Super Sonic in 3 and Knuckles. Okay. Oh my god. And I also have Hypersonic on here, too, so... Okay... Okay... So yeah, Super Sonic is a little bit hard to control in this game. Probably because this game wasn't really designed for Super Sonic, but, you know, it is what it is. Also, I do want to talk about something. Super Sonic Spin Dash got... Or no, not even... What am I talking about? Not the Spin Dash, but the Drop Dash in this game got nerfed hard. It's so much weaker than it is in Sonic Mania. Like, I hope they you know, g give this game an update and make the drop dash a little bit stronger, but as of right now, yeah, it's a really weak move. Like, it really doesn't go that fast, it doesn't really take you far either. So, yeah, I mean, the drop dash is kind of useless, honestly, at least compared to Mania. I mean, Three and Knuckles' this drop dash is kind of useful, but... I'm gonna try to actually uh, make Eggman's Eggmobile explode here. No, I keep falling down because Supersonic's so hard to control. Dang it, man. Oh, Eggman's not going that fast, though, so I can still hit him eight times. That's what I want to do right now. Yeah, it's not looking like that's going to be possible. I got him! Oh, let's go. I hit him eight times. That was awesome. That was my first time ever doing that. I know it was because I was using Supersonic, but I don't I don't care. Oh, that was awesome. You know what? While I'm at it, um, I might as well record this too. I'm going to be doing the seventh or the eighth special stage for Sonic 2. And yep, I actually haven't booted this one up in the collection yet. Um, so I'm gonna be skipping the cutscenes until I play story mode, and that's gonna be a different let's play. And again, if you if it's like out of focus or something, like if you notice a lot of like like if it looks like this green's kind of glowing a little bit, that's because I'm recording this late at night. Uh, so anyways, I'm gonna try out Special Stage 7 now, or Special Stage 8, I'm sorry.
Okay, so this one is definitely different. I don't think there's a purple half pipe in normal Sonic 2. Actually, I think Special Stage 2 is purple, but not like this shade, you know? Actually, I think this might be colored after one of the two player stages, I'm not sure. And yes, I brought Tails with me just to make things even harder for myself. Dang it, Tails. I'm not really going to be relying on him, though. I'm mainly trying to get the rings myself. Oh my god. Okay, yep, just restart. Thankfully, this doesn't count for anything, so... Like, the game actually let me restart there, which is nice. I wish I went Sonic only, because, you know, that would have made this a little bit easier. Because I don't know if people think this special stage is hard or not. I mean, I'd imagine this is kind of easy. So far it is, at least. So, yeah, I don't know what to expect from this one. And this was not in the original Sonic 2. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Oh, so this corkscrew is a little bit harder to do. Okay, Tails actually coming in clutch right there. Yo, this part kind of reminds me of the special stages from Sonic Rush and the way they laid out the bombs there. I'm thinking of a specific special stage from that game. I don't know which one at the moment, but like... Yeah, the special stages in Sonic Rush had... Uh, they were kind of similar to that right there, that last section. Alright, let's see. 280, okay. Yo, whoa! Whoa, corkscrews? Uh, I'm sorry, what? That is trippy. Corkscrews in a special stage, that is insane. Well, I guess that's why they uh, hid this one. I, wow, I, I am at a loss for words right now. How were, oh my God. Oh my god, okay, seeing the bomb suspending like that is actually really intimidating. <laughs> but I got the, wait, the Cyan Chaos Emerald? And it says I got a Chaos Emerald, but it's not even there, so... What was that? Was that like a fake Chaos Emerald or something? And you know what, while I'm at it, while I'm at it, I might as well play Hidden Palace. I've been meaning to, um, well, I wanted to save this for the last play, but I might as well, huh? What the heck? Wait, why can't I play it? Okay, fine, I'll find it in Mystic Cave. Be like that game. Just be like that. That's so weird though. Why did it have Hidden Palace there when I can't even select it? Okay, well, I mean, I have done a Let's Play of Sonic 2 before. Um, and I did talk about the Spike Pit and how in this version of the game it actually serves as an entrance to Hidden Palace. So I am about to show that off for you guys. So I definitely want to go down here. I want to stay on the, oh, come on. I want to stay on the lower path here because I'm going to try and fall into the pit of doom on purpose. Actually, I don't know if that's what people actually call the pit. I know people have some kind of nickname for the pit. I don't know if it's the pit of doom though. I think it's, I just closed it off. Dang it. I just closed off the entrance because uh, that's the thing. It's just muscle memory. I'm used to always grabbing the switches there, but oh man. Okay. Okay, so this time I'm not going to uh, grab that pulley, or that vine, or whatever that's supposed to be. 
Instead, I'm just gonna jump in the pit. Like, just, I, I, I should just go full on game journalist mode for a second here. And technically, I am going to be in a game journalist in a little bit. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, Hidden Palace. Let's do it. This is my first time ever playing Hidden Palace Zone. I've seen other people play this level. Um, so I kind of know what to expect, but at the same time, I've never played through it myself. And as I've said multiple times on this channel, seeing something and playing it for yourself are two completely different things. Okay, that kind of reminds me of Sonic CD a little bit. Those, like, giant spike ball things kind of remind me of Metallic Mat. Oh, that must be an exit. Yo, this level is actually really cool. I love this. Okay, I don't like that, though. That just reminded me of Huge Crisis from Sonic Rush. Okay, this is kind of reminding me of Labyrinth Zone with the spinning spike ball. What even is this place? I guess some kind of cave with like emeralds in it? Like a lot of emeralds. Like I know, um, so fun fact, since Sonic 2 ended up getting rushed for a holiday release, um, Hidden Palace, the level I'm playing right now, was going to be in the original 1992. I don't know how I landed on those spikes. I was looking at the enemies, thinking I jumped over the, what the heck? Um, this was going to be in the original 1992 version of Sonic 2, but it had to be scrapped uh, because of time constraints, you know? Uh, originally, from what I know, you were going to be warped to this level once you got all seven Chaos Emeralds, and then once you actually cleared this stage, you would actually be able to play a Super Sonic. Okay, so what am I supposed to do here? Okay, so clearly I'm not supposed to hit him right now. Um, yeah, because when I hit him, I just get hit, you know? Whoa, okay, I don't, okay, what the heck, what, um, oh, wait, wait, I've seen this in the trailer, okay, so I think what you have to do when that giant bomb explodes, you have to make it explode right underneath Eggman, ah, uh, not even Tails could get a cheap hit on Eggman in there. Okay, I don't... Okay, I'm gonna try to guide that right there. Right there! Dang it. Okay, maybe I should start... I mean, maybe I should wait for it to start flashing before I jump over it. Okay, this is a really confusing boss fight. I haven't landed a single hit yet. Okay, that scared me a little bit. Okay. Oh, I got hit too. Dang it. Oh, I got three hits on him. Okay, not bad. Not bad. So you kind of have to, like, stay close to Eggman, like, at all times, kind of. And if you try to hit him, he'll just fly higher, so definitely a bad idea. Jeez, I never knew Eggman was a musician. No, I was trying to jump over it! Okay, let's see. Okay, that's easy to avoid. Yeah, so Eggman's always trying to hover above you. This is definitely the longest boss fight in this game. Come on, come on. Yes, okay. Got him. 
Got him. You can get a lot of hits in on him there. Like that was a straight up combo. Well, guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, I know it was kind of short compared to what I usually do, but like, I, I just mainly wanted to show off, you know, Special Stage 7 from Sonic 1. Um, Super Sonic in Sonic 1, I hope I get to keep him. Um, and then, you know, Special Stage 8 and Hidden Palace in Sonic 2. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if there's hidden special stages in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I assume there are, but then I already played those because, you know, Mania exists. And you see, Sonic Mania's bonus stages are blue spheres, as we all know. 14 of those, well, seven of those are the Sonic 3 special stages. Seven of, uh, like, seven more of the Super Emerald ones, the Sonic and Knuckles ones. Um, two of them are the unused special stages from Sonic 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles, and the rest are original. And being that I beat every Blue Sphere stage in Sonic Mania, that means I actually already played the unused special stages from Sonic 3 & Knuckles, so that's the only reason why I'm not showing that off. And, um, as for Sonic CD, I don't know the code for that game, I don't know the level select code. Um, I would do Special Stage 8, but honestly, I gotta beat the other 7 before I even think about doing that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. It's your boy signing off. Peace. Take care, everyone.